So uh, good afternoon. My name is C.S. Kim. Um, I'm leading the SK Hynix Enterprise SSD product development. And um, um, I'm going to show you today the how SK Hynix is, is um, going beyond uh, redefining the AI future with the full stack memory solutions today. <clears throat> so now we are entering a new era of AI. So, and it's no longer just about um, how fast your compute is. It's about how many tokens you can process and how quickly. And um, now we have reasoning capable models and that changed everything throughout this year. And token output has skyrocketed and almost 10, 10 times in just a few months uh, this year. So today's infrastructure has to keep up and it needs to move a lot more tokens uh, a lot faster and that puts real pressure on memory and storage. And again, it is not about the flops anymore and it's about the tokens per second. So um, as AI workload continues to grow, uh, token throughput is becoming the real, uh, real bottleneck. The HBM4 will certainly boost the overall TPS throughput, but um, improving the throughput and the QoS per each user requires trade-offs. However, by optimizing the memory and uh, memory hierarchy, we believe we can improve both TPS throughput and the quality of service. This illustration shows how we can boost the AI service quality by optimizing the memory hierarchy. Uh, step one is a smarter integration of next generation of DRAM and SSD more effectively. And the second, the step two is where the real breakthrough happens and uh, AI optimized memory and storage pushing performance beyond the today's limit. And that's exactly what SK Hynix is trying to build right now. Um, I think let's see the old version though. <laughs> okay, this is an um, uh, AI data pipeline. And um, uh, across the step of AI data pipeline, uh, what SK Hynix is, um, is trying to contribute to improve the uh, AI, uh, AI service quality uh, throughout the AI data pipeline steps. The, for data ingestions in the, ar the archive, the important thing is capacities. So the Hynix is really focused on the QRC-based enterprise SSDs. And uh, for the data preparation and training, uh, this is pretty much compute intensive. So um, the, the Hynix is focused on the high, high performance HBM and the CXL uh, memory products. And the specifically on the inference, um, the, this is a compute, the both and compute the memory compute uh, intensive steps of AI data pipeline. So Hynix is trying to build the high, ultra high IOPS and the high bandwidth storage solutions, which we call the AIM family. I'm gonna tell you a, a bit more detail later on. And um, the, the, uh, specifically focus on that um, AI inference, uh, let's walk through the how AI inference actually works. From multi-user queries to output deliveries. In this pipeline, uh, we see two examples of the key performance bottlenecks which are vector DV access and the KV cache handling during the inference uh, decode phase. The SK Hynix is trying to address both with our AIM family, AI means AI NAND, and um, the AIM performance delivers ultra high IOPS, uh, ultra high IOPS to speed up the vector DV search, and the AIM bandwidth, we call the AIMB, brings ultra high throughput to deal with a growing amount of KV cache data more eff uh, effectively. They're working together, they can make the entire inference pipeline and more efficient and enable more scalable AI services. See, uh, if you look inside the LRM inference loop a bit more detail, where uh, memory bandwidth becomes the true bottlenecks. The inference starts with the pre-fill stage, the loading model weight, and building the very first tokens, and, and then comes decoding phase, where tokens are repeatedly generated uh, until the final answer is reached. This loop is pretty much memory intensive and it is getting even heavier um, as token volume grows up to 300 times uh, more than before. 
This is why we are researching the AI and bandwidth and high throughput net solution for AI that works alongside HBM to keep up with this demand. Together, we keep the entire inference loop uh, running fast and smooth. And um, so this is the new uh, uh, the AI the application called AI Agent. And um, the AI agent requires multiple, the combination of uh, the, the reasoning capable LLM. And um, um, so the, uh, the, the, this is the example of the, the planner, uh, planner application using the, uh, using, based on that, the AI agent. So the AI agent requires uh, the, the multiple uh, the collaboration between uh, multiple, uh, the, the agent in this slide, you can see this planner agent working with the multiple different uh, LLM models, such as multimodal encoding and data analysis. And all of those uh, data, uh, data flow is being managed by the memory agent. Uh, throughout this step of the AI agent, um, the HBM DRAM storage requires more memory and storage. So this is one example that's um, 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 the, the AI application requires more uh, memory capacity and performance and bandwidth. So, uh, which is why we have, um, which is why um, this is the summary of SK Hynix, AI, uh, SK Hynix exploration to deal with the future uh, requirement on uh, memory uh, storage in the AI era. The first one is we call it the AIM performance which is ultra-high IOPS performance SSDs. And the second one is AIM bandwidth, which is a high bandwidth flash. We, I believe you can see the uh, press release at the back end FMS, which was um, trying to comply with um, 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 the HBM throughput. On top of that, the AIMB can provide uh, the SSD grade capacity for uh, uh, AI inference applications. And third one is AIND, means AI and density, uh, trying to uh, deal with uh, more uh, growing capacity requirement from the AI industries. So I'm gonna, talk, I'm gonna tell you more on the AIMP and AIMB today. The, today, this on the AIM performance front. Um, vector DB search is uh, becoming the essential in the current AI inference especially for rack and multi-user scenarios. But it comes with three big demands. Uh, the larger index size, and the fast search speed, and consistent search qualities. The, these operations require a high IOPS, low latency, and fine-grained random access, often as small as 512 byte. This is where AIMP shines. It's being designed uh, to tackle exactly these challenges uh, in the real-world AI workload. On our AIMPs, um, the next generation, the ESSD for AI, it is under development right now to handle the extreme high ops demand from real AI workload and powered by our new FastNAND and our purpose-built controllers, the architecture can deliver up to 50 million IOPS with the 512-byte access for Gen 6, which is uh, seven times higher than conventional Gen 6 enterprise SSD uh, device. It is, not, it is not just built for AI workload. AIMP also uh, deliver uh, high IOPS and throughputs for conventional storage applications as well. The proof of concept sample will be available with the E3 form factor by the end of next year. And uh, 100 million IOPS over Gen 6, uh, uh, the mass production capable product will be available by the end of 27. So now, um, on the AIMB front, um, um, AIMB is um, uh, the, the HBM-like uh, SSD storage device. So the AIMB will have uh, HBM-like bandwidth and SSD-like capacities. So uh, and uh, the AIMB is going to be assembled. The, is going to be implemented by the stacking up the NAND flash device up to 20 to 16, and uh, beneath the, we're going to put some base sites to control that uh, stack of NAND flash 
to provide that the HBM-like uh, bandwidth and SSD-like capacities. So this is um, um, the AIB, uh, the application use cases we think. Um, inference, as, as you take a look at um, left, side, uh, left side graph, um, the memory bandwidth and uh, the number of batches of the inference service are trade-off relationships. If you, in, if you try to increase the number of batches, and uh, because of that limitation of the memory resources, we are not able to deal with, we are not able to deal with uh, enough amount of tokens. So if you want to provide the more uh, uh, users, the we need to, uh, we need to reduce down to uh, token lengths. So by, but uh, by the applying that the A, A and B technologies, we can increase that uh, max batch of the A, A, I inference services without having much impact on the, uh, token lengths for AI and inference, uh, AI inference services. So, and looking at another AI and B use cases, large, uh, large model requires more capacities recently. So uh, taking a look at the left side image, um, the, when we have a, the larger model size, we, we, we do not have any option but to use additional uh, GPU uh, resources, the scale out to GPU because of that memory requirement, meaning that the additional GPU will not be utilized uh, very much. So by, but by, the, by making the most of A, I, and B, we don't have to scale out for GPU resources to deal with the increased size of LLM models. So um, without adding additional GPUs, the, we can uh, support the increased size of model weight so that we can reduce down the TCO uh, perspective. The another example of AI and B, um, we can see that uh, multi-turn the inference applications. Multi-turn applications, uh, uh, turn in the inference, we can increase the quality of uh, inference uh, service. But um, in, in order to uh, provide the first uh, the, the first tokens, this, the, the inference infrastructure need to save the growing amount of the KV cache according to the, multi, uh, the number of turns. So um, by, applying the, by using that, um, the A, I, and B capacities, we don't have to uh, the scale out the GPU resources. And uh, at the same time, we can provide uh, um, a better quality of multi-turn inference services. So um, this is the um, summary, of, summary of our SK Hynix, the exploration for AI era. And today's AI system still relies on uh, conventional architectures such as SSD and DRAM and HBM working separately. Uh, but as AI scales, these components uh, must work together more, more intelligently. So SK Hynix is now trying to expand the storage portfolio with the ultra high capacity SSDs, uh, ultra high capacity SSDs and AIM performance, uh, which is designed to real world AI workload. And uh, moving forward, we are exploring new class of AI optimized system, the integration, uh, integrating AI and B and HBM and XPO in a tightly connected architectures. So this is the direction we are heading um, from loosely connected component uh, to a unified AI memory and storage platform. So um, this, is, um, this is all I have today. The SK Hynix is trying to um, keep working on these new AI solutions uh, to contribute to improve the AI uh, industry and their own the service qualities. Thanks for your time today.